हेलो गाइस सो टुडे वी शेल बी डिस्कसिंग व्हाट इज ब्लीडिंग टाइम एंड व्हाट इज क्लॉटिंग टाइम व्हिच यू जनरली कॉल इट एज बीटी एंड सीटी टाइम सो ब्लीडिंग टाइम एंड क्लॉटिंग टाइम आर द टू प्रोसीजर्स राइट सो यू एसेस दीज प्रोसीजर्स जस्ट बिफोर परफॉर्मिंग द सर्जरी बिकॉज ऑल ऑफ यू नो दैट ड्यूरिंग द सर्जरी देर विल बी अ कंसिडरेबल अमाउंट ऑफ ब्लड लॉस सो ब्लीडिंग टाइम एंड क्लॉटिंग टाइम we assess these two timings to know if the patient is having any kind of blood disorder why because during the surgery there will be a considerable amount of blood loss and if the patient is having excessive bleeding time or excessive clotting time then the doctor cannot maintain hemostasis for the patient so this leads to hypovolemia this leads to lots of blood loss and that will lead to hypovolemia and shock and finally the patient might die so that is the reason why every anesthetist before the surgery they need to do a pre anesthetic evaluation which you also called as pac evaluation so in that pac evaluation you basically look at the bleeding time and the clotting time basically find whether the bleeding time is within the normal limit or not and the clotting time is within the normal limit or not so first of all we are discussing about the bleeding time now and then later on we shall discuss what is clotting time so in the bleeding time what do we assess why do we do the bleeding time for bleeding time is we use bleeding time to assess the platelets for example if the platelets are low it means thrombocytopenia in that case the bleeding will continue and that will lead to increased bleeding time for example if platelets are enough in your blood right if the platelets are in a normal value in your blood so what will happen the platelets will form platelet plug that leads to stoppage of the bleeding or hemostasis so bleeding time is mainly used to assess the platelets right for the proper assessment of the platelets so what is a procedure first of all let me explain you the procedure and later on i'll show you how is it exactly done right so what you do is that you explain the complete procedure to the patient and now you prick the finger of the patient after pricking the moment you prick the finger of the patient start the timer stopwatch now what you do is you add a drop of blood at 00 seconds wait for 30 seconds and then add a next drop of blood at 30 seconds wait for 30 more seconds and add the next drop of blood at 60 seconds so in this way after every 30 second interval you keep adding blood till when you should add the blood you should add the blood till there is no drop of blood coming out of the patient's finger or the patient's prick point then immediately stop the timer and note down the value so that will be the bleeding time and i am telling you the normal bleeding time is around 2 to 7 minutes which means if the value is between 2 to 7 minutes the platelets are under normal number for example if the bleeding time is more than 7 minutes it means the bleeding is still continuing which even means that the platelets are deficient in the patient's body and that is the reason why there is delay in the platelet plug formation so now let us start the procedure having explained the procedure you even have to explain the complete procedure to the patient now after explaining the procedure to the patient now take the patient's finger now completely clean this area from the center to the periphery so you have to sterilize this area for about 30 seconds now take the short needle now prick the patient's finger now the moment you prick the patient's finger the moment you see the blood coming out of the finger you have to start the timer so now i'm pricking the patient's finger now i'm starting the timer now the patient will place his first drop of blood at 0 seconds now patient has to wait till 30 seconds to place his next drop of blood at 30 seconds now patient is about to place his second drop of blood at 30 seconds
Now patient will place the next drop of blood at 60 seconds. A patient will place the next drop of blood at 90 seconds. Patient will place the next drop of blood at 120 seconds. As you can see, the blood is decreasing slowly. The amount of blood coming out of the patient's finger is decreasing. As you can see from 0 seconds to 120 seconds, gradually the amount of blood is decreasing, which means that the platelets are forming a plug there. This is called as platelet plug. Now the patient will place his drop of blood at 150 seconds. Now patient will place his next drop of blood at 180 seconds. Right, now I am stopping the timer. As you can see, Gradually, the amount of blood from 0 seconds all the way till 150 seconds is gradually decreasing and there is no drop of blood at 180 seconds, which means it took 3 minutes 2 seconds for the patient to form for the platelets of this patient to form a platelet plug. So, this is called as a bleeding time. So, the normal bleeding time is between 2 to 7 minutes and this patient had a bleeding time of 3 minutes 2 seconds which is absolutely normal. So from this we can infer that the patient is having normal number of platelets in his body performing normal platelet function.